What is your opinion of the current concussion protocol for return to play or to stay in play? Okay, let me, let, I'm gonna answer that in a quick second, but I think there's a data point that, that really, only 11% of concussions occur in sport. 89% are in your garage, in your, in your bedroom, in your bathroom, 89%. And it's, I slipped in the bathroom or I, how many, how many times have you gone in the kitchen and bent over and stood up into a door? Not a thousand. Every day, but every you know day. I, okay, so a, a current concussion protocol. The, the current concussion protocol is what we call the Amsterdam working documents. This is where they get all the smartest people in the world and they say, let's chat about this. Nobody's following it. Nobody's even following the four year prior one, Berlin working documents. And, and I mean, I was just in Chicago lecturing with a major group, they, they brought me in and they're like, and like, what the heck are you talking about? And then I'm bringing these things up I mean, on my laptop on the, and they're like, oh my gosh. And there's, there's prior professional athletes in there and they're like, I didn't know any of this. I didn't, well, I didn't know any of this. So you ask a simple question. There, there is technology coming out that can give us a better understanding. But for me to move my finger and say, hey, follow your eyes, up, down, this, that, close your eyes. Those are all, they're the best we have on the field. And, and there's scat scores and all these other things. But it's so primitive because we can't get a good in to the most complex computer in the entire world ever created called your brain. So we're, there is some better technologies, the quote little booth on the sidelines for, for NFL. But I mean, there's technologies coming out. One of them is called Sway. Sway is just you're using one of the, the best processor devices, your phone, and you're seeing how you move when your eyes are closed uh, or your eyes are open. So. You ask a simple question. The protocols on the sidelines are improving, but extremely lacking still. Yeah, it's and they also have a baseline. They do at the beginning of the year for concussions. And what, what they'll do, and I'm not saying I know kids who do this, but look, athletes just want to play. Yeah. And I get it. I played through concussions. I was like, no, I'm fine. The next day, I'm like, where am I? Can't look at light. And... So they will literally fudge or underperform mm -hmm. on their baseline test. Yeah. So that way when they do, and I, wrestlers do this. Um, I know for a fact, I, I know a lot of people do this because they know if you have a bad baseline, then on your You're test, 